The Tao of Self-Confidence, episode 266. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal woman on the show today. She is the founder of Ashley Lowe Photography, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us and tips on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Ashley Lowe. Ashley, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Sure. Thank you for having me here, Sheena. So I'm, I'm great and I hope all the listeners out there are feeling great as well. So hello everyone. I'm the founder of Ashley Lowe Photography. So I'm Ashley Lowe. I'm a family photographer who specializes in newborn photography. So I started my studio in, back in 2011. And since then, over these years, I have captured more than 1,500 children of all ages. So previously, I was in the advertising industry for seven years. And then I decided to make a shift in my career. And now I'm a photographer. So I've not really looked back since then and have been really enjoying this journey. And yeah, so that's me. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Ashley, what's your cultural background? I am born and bred in Singapore. I'm very proud to be a Singaporean indeed. And I'm a Singaporean Chinese, so my ancestors are all from China. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Well, it has to be this quote by Sophia Lauren. Nothing makes a woman more beautiful than the belief that she is beautiful. Yeah, so I, well, just to share with you why I feel this is my favorite quote. I used to think that, you know, like, I think most of my friends, I used to think I'm not beautiful. I'm like the ugliest woman in the world. And, and it was, my life has been going through like a roller coaster, right? And then I found that and I slowly progress to feel that, hey, why am I so uh, lack of confidence in myself? And why do I always feel miserable that I'm not you know, beautiful, I'm not this and that and this and that. So it's just that's one day I found this quote on the advertisement actually and and I kind of feel that hey, maybe that's true. If I believe that, you know, I'm beautiful and I will be beautiful in every sense. So everyone is beautiful in different ways and now I truly believe that. Awesome. And I love that quote too. And I believe every woman is beautiful, right? You know, sometimes society has set some standards that are really, that are really not realistic. I mean, we are all beautiful in our own way. We have certain talents and features that nobody else has. So, you know, that's a great quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? I would say that my definition of self-confidence is living high which, um, uh, well, this Leave High is actually a song by uh, Jason Mraz. So I, I love his music. And one of his chorus, the one of the chorus of this song goes this, Leave High, Leave Mighty, Leave Righteously, Taking It Easy. So I, there was this point of my life, I kept like replaying this song over and all over again for like months. And I, always tell myself that after listening to this song, I always tell myself that, hey, as long as I aim to live high and live happily, more importantly, then I'll be confident to face this world in whatever uh, challenges that comes towards me. So, and this is kind of my definition of self-confidence because I feel that a lot of people don't really know what is their purpose in their life. And and but then doing so when they are a little bit aimlessly, they kind of like don't really know why they exist. And by having a purpose in your life, and that is your confidence to live through your day every day. And for me, being living high means just living happily. So I choose to live happy, and I choose to do things that makes me happy, and that to me is confident. I love your definition. It's true. When we learn to live and aim high, that's when we can, you know, start doing the things that we want, you know, be the person that we are and attract the right things into our life. So great definition. And Ashley, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? 
was actually brought up by a very conservative family, and I am an actually an introvert. I still am, but back then I was very bad, really very introvert. And I would, I would normally be very quiet in a group of amongst a group of people, and and I'm really afraid to speak out. And and afterwards, I always feel miserable about that. So I guess it has to do. Well, I mentioned that I have conservative、uh, family. I think that has to do with why I'm an introvert <laughs> because my my parents they they don't teach me. To focus on positivity. So when I make a mistake, whenever I make a mistake, they will try to correct me. So which to them, that's parenthood, that's teaching the children. But to me, as I grow up, like I'm always afraid to make mistakes. I'm always afraid to like you know speak out and stuff like that. And I guess that was me before I discover my self confidence. When I enter into my advertising、uh, industry and work in the advertising field. That was really hard for me because in advertising, everyone is so outgoing, so extro extrovert, and I was like, oh no, no. So, so that was tough. But I managed to go through seven years in advertising and kind of like break through myself and learn to be more outgoing and learn to speak up during my years there. So pretty much that was me back then. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, and I think that's something most Asian women go through, right? They just follow what their parents tell them and. Sometimes you know, we when we follow what、uh, we're told by others, like we kind of feel trapped and and kind of feel like you said, you know, a little bit introverted, not you know, not confident enough to go out there and do something, not be able to trust ourselves because we're so dependent on other people's you know directions or opinions. And what was that point in your life when you realized you can be your own person and build your own self confidence? Back then, I was. I was quite a big sized woman as compared to most of my friends in Singapore. So I was like a size fourteen and sixteen back then, and and to me being tall and being big built doesn't really help me to blend into the society. So, but I I look at all the celebrities and I look at like some people that I know, and they're all like even bigger size than me, and and they're also confident and beautiful. At least I feel they are very beautiful and they are very very confident, and. There was there's this period of time when I kept saying to myself, "Why am I so not happy?" And then when I look at these people, and they are actually so much better than me, but they are so happy. And to me, that there's this realization that was one of my aha moments. That hey, that since they can be so confident and happy, why can't why can't me? And why can't I learn to be happy about myself and accept who I am? So that. Was one of the、uh, so-called aha moment that I have. Another so-called changing, life-changing moments that I have, or actually throughout the years, I have quite a lot of、uh, life-changing moments. But there was there's this main one which kind of I think molded me to be who I am today. Was when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, and I learned to someone, a friend actually, a friend told me, hey, you know, there's a reason why、uh, your breakup was. Bad, bad in the sense that you know I was feeling all miserable about that, because you have been very codependent to him. I was like, what the hell is codependent? And it's like, hey, you know,、uh, you live your life for him and not for yourself. You totally lost yourself, and you contributed a lot of yeah my time, my effort for him and not for me. And I was like, hey, that's true, and it is true. So and that was like this whole subject about codependency came out and look into it and pretty much. I realize that's me, and since then, after discovering that, I I change. I try to change myself to be more self-focused. So to focus on、uh, what I like to do, what I love to do, what I want to do today, and how can I make myself happy today. And instead of keep focusing on people that I love, I try to love myself more. And that is. Kind of a big aha moment. So right now, I kind of live by that principle that hey, I have to you know well, I have to live high and I have to live happily and I have to live for myself and I always have to reflect back on myself what I want to do and and yeah, that's that's my main aha moments that I have. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, I love that you mentioned that you know you saw people who were more you know more plus size, but they were so happy because they they just accepted themselves for who they are and they realized. You know they are beautiful, and you, you know sometimes we live in a world where we're we're so good at comparing ourselves to other people, not realizing we are more than enough. And you know it's great that you were able to realize you are beautiful. You know no matter who you are and what you are, and you know your features and your your strengths and weaknesses. And because of that, what's your life been like now? 
I built up a strong belief in myself. My life is now full of、uh, means. So meaning to say, I constantly put I in my own conversation. So what I want to do, where I want to go today, what is my treat for today after a hard week of work, you know. So I actually. My life now is more independent, so I can go on trips myself. I will attend like yoga classes because the yoga classes can like set my reset my mind and put my mind at ease, and 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 I can look into deeper into myself. What, how I'm feeling, and 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 look upon myself. Okay, so this week I've been very stressed, and hey. So how can I reset that and make myself a bit happier? So and I constantly tell myself that hey, I'm beautiful. So whenever there are moments of doubt, I will come back to myself and say, no, you're beautiful. So let's do something that will make me even more beautiful and happier. So and what could that be? So that's kind of my life now. That I just want to refocus on myself, and that will help help me to become a happier person. So by being happy means very confident. Thanks for sharing that, and you know it's great that you are there looking out for yourself, taking care of yourself, and knowing that you know it's it's okay to do that, right? Sometimes we feel like we always have to do stuff for others, not realizing that we have to focus on ourselves first. And you know sometimes it's okay to be a little bit selfish, <laughs> you know, to recharge and,、yeah. re- and refuel and refocus so that you can be better than ever. And Ashley, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? That would be to not care what others think of you, or and just do what makes you happy, and always check on yourself to see how you're feeling, and most importantly, trust your gut. That would be my main advice. <laughs> Great tips, and I love that. And it's true, we have to learn how to trust our gut.、Um, you know, these things happen for a reason. They're giving us a sign or telling us something that's happening in our lives. So we have to learn to be aware of that as well. Aware of that as well. So, Ashley, if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? You can just like me on my Facebook page, which is Ashley Low P. So P for photography. So I have、uh, this Facebook page where you can just follow my journey of my photography, and and I share a lot about baby tips and stuff like that. And you can also see some of my portfolio of work at、um, Ashley Low Photography dot com, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram just by searching for Ashley Low Photography. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Ashley. You can also head on over to the Tao of Self Confidence dot com and search for Ashley's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Ashley for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you, Shina, for having me. <laughs> it was it was an an honor to have you on the show. So listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self Confidence. Get your free self talk tape for building self confidence by visiting our website at the Tao of Self Confidence dot com. Your inner journey to self confidence awaits.